From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. It has been awesome around here. Nasty hot has been out to the west, and it still is as of today. So earlier this afternoon, temperatures were well above 100 in the Pacific Northwest. They're not real happy. Now, Billings, Montana, which was well above 100 yesterday, was only at 85 today. A little bit cooler weather, but the high plains starting to heat up. Almost hit 100 in Denver. I don't think they like that too much in Denver in the Mile High City. Phoenix back up to 115. Yuck. Uh, but at least Dallas, they were happy. They didn't hit 100. Our school is going to start tomorrow with a little bit warmer weather. Weather. A lot of schools, I should say. There's been schools that have started already. Uh, but we are looking at monsoon season out to the west where rain and showers develop during the course of the afternoon. Moisture's trapped out there, and then that fires up some thunderstorms. We've been quiet tonight overall. Uh, there have been a lot of people saying, what has that been up in the sky? That was Starlink. Uh, that was at about 933 tonight when it was maxed out uh, that you could see it from northwest to southeast. So we did get some reports of that. Had a couple videos as well. I haven't put it into the computer yet. But uh, anyway, so. So if you were looking up and you're like, what is that up there? That's a Starlink uh, system that's out. All right, showers in Florida. Those showers out west are dying down. A few storms up northeast. But again, the breadbasket is not doing much right now. And unfortunately, that's going to be the case other than heating up. So that is sinking southeast from out of the northwest. The northwest is going to get a little reprieve tomorrow and Friday. We're just going to feel the effects of it starting to really maximize Saturday and Sunday because it's parked over Oklahoma. So it's going to get us. And that's just not so unusual for August. So we're kind of normal when it gets this hot, unfortunately. Uh, we do have some tropical weather. They'll be down to the south, maybe some portions of south Texas. We get some rain, thunder, maybe a tropical system as well by later next week. We, though, are just, uh, this is going to dominate our weather. And so that's why we've been talking, about, oh, it's going to get hot. Oh, it's going to get hot. Well, it's going to stay that way for a while. Now, most of our modeling uh, continues to help show that it's just kind of parking itself in the Midwest. And that's not where we want this thing parked. But it is, unfortunately, going to be around for quite a while. Our temperatures, though, now 70s for the most part and 70 at Bixby and also at Quita, close to the Arkansas River Valleys. 68 at uh, Wagner, 71 coming in at Pryor, 78. Also sitting up around the Tulsa area here. So we're still a little bit warmer out west, much warmer. We're above 100 today out west. So that hot air is headed our way. All is quiet right now. The only thing that was negative is ragweed uh, started to really show up. So that was just awful. Ragweed season is coming up. So if you're suffering with allergies related to that, and don't forget ozone alert is in effect as well. So that's some of the things. And then of course, COVID is rearing its ugly head. Once again, a lot of people have been sick, but at least we have the cool weather in the morning. 60s in the early morning, then 90s. Notice how it's so hot just off south and west. Even McAllister, you guys closing in on 100. We get another fairly good morning with 60s to near 70 on Friday, and then that's about it. So our forecast looks like this. Temperatures tonight at midnight around 73, 66 to 68 in the morning. Nice start. And then it's like by afternoon, there's our summer weather. It's already showing up. We have leveled it off on Friday because we'll have more of an easterly component wind, but unfortunately triple digit heat continues with highs right around 100, only 99 on Tuesday if that's a cool down. That is your nine-day planner. We'll be right back.